On this video, I will discuss the point estimate for the population proportion P as we continue senior high school statistics and probability. Before we proceed, let's talk first why we have proportions in statistics. Surveys are common to elicit people's perception about popular issues. Surveys provide guidance to people to their everyday actions. Their decisions are based on countable observations found from surveys. They translate these countable observations into percentages. And these percentages are called proportions. Now, let's define proportion. Proportion is a fraction where the favorable response is in the numerator and the total respondents is in the denominator. The basic operation is division. And the result is a decimal value that can be expressed as percentage. In dealing with proportions, we have the following symbols. N is the number of observations in a simple random sample. P hat equals the sample proportion read as P hat. P refers to the population proportion and P hat equals the number of desired outcomes all over the number of sample elements. The formula for solving a sample proportion is number 1, p hat equals x over n and q hat equals 1 minus p hat. Where x equals the number of sample elements that possess the desired characteristics and n equals the sample size. Let us talk also the characteristics of the sampling distribution of p hat. Number 1, the mean of the sampling distribution of p hat is p. That is, p hat is an unbiased estimator of p. Number 2, the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of p hat is square root of pq all over n. That is, the standard deviation of p equals square root of pq over n, where q equals 1 minus p. And number 3, for large samples, the sampling distribution of p hat is approximately normal. Let us apply above in a problem. Example 1. In a survey of 120 senior high school students, 72 wants to watch Korean telenovela. Find P hat and Q hat where P hat is the proportion of the senior high school students who wants to watch Korean telenovela. From the problem, we have the given x equals 72 and n equals 120. To solve for p hat, we will use the formula x over n. Substitute 72 to x and 120 to n. And simplify 72 divided by 120 equals 0 0.6. It means that the population proportion p is 0 0.6 or 60%. To solve for q hat, use the formula 1 minus p. Substitute p by 0 0.6, 1 minus 0 0.6 equals 0 0.4. It means the population proportion Q is 0.4 or 40%. To interpret the result, we can say that the proportion of students who wants to watch Korean telenovela is 0.6 or 60% and the proportion who don't want to watch Korean telenovela is 0.4 or 40%. Example 2. A total of 150 grade 11 students who have access on internet services were asked if they play games online before answering their modules. 83 students responded yes. What is the population proportion of students who play games online before answering modules? What percent do not play games online? Our givens are x equals 83 and n equals 150. Substituting them on the formula, we have p hat equals 83 over 150. Simplifying them by division, we have p hat equals 0 0.55. It means that the population proportion p refers to the students play games online before answering modules is 0 0.55 or 55%. To solve for q hat, use the formula 1 minus p. Substitute 0.55 to P, 1 minus 0, 0.55, Q hat equals 0 
It means that the population proportion Q refers to the students do not play games online before answering modules is 0.45 or 45%. To interpret the result, we can say that the proportion of students who play games online before answering modules is 0.55 or 55%. And the proportion for who don't play games online before answering modules is 0.45 or 45%. Third and last problem for this video. The statistician of a certain school wants to know the proportion of students enrolled in academic strands. The enrollment data showed a total enrollment of 238 senior high school students. Of the total, there were 198 enrolled in academic strands. What is the percentage enrolled in academic strands and for the non-academic? Givens are x equals 198, n equals 238. Substituting them on the formula, we have p hat equals 198 over 238. Simplifying 198 by 238 equals 0.83. It means that the population proportion P refers to enrolled in academic strands is 0.83 or 83%. To solve for Q hat, use the formula 1 minus P. Substitute 0.83 to P, so we have 1 minus 0.83. Q hat equals 0.17. It means that the population proportion Q, students enrolled in an academic, is 0.17 or 17%. Again, to interpret the result, we can say that the proportion of students enrolled in academic strands is 0.83 or 83% and the proportion of students who enrolled in non-academic strand is 0.17 or 17%. If you learn from this video, don't forget to like and share. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe.